Here's a user story our developers have recently implemented for the UI Bank web app. Its acceptance criteria says it should be possible to apply for a loan via the UI Bank web app. And it has some specific criteria, like there's certain arguments that have to be provided. Applicants older than 80 or younger than 18 will not receive a loan quote, and you will receive a different loan depending on your yearly income. The story has been implemented. Here is the result. So we now can apply for a loan via the UI Bank web app. And we, as a test engineer, have been tasked to create test cases for this very scenario. Let's move over to UiPath Studio. As you can see here, we generated a coded test case for the workflow of applying for a loan in the UI Bank web app. It traverses through the screens, and at the very end, it verifies the loan rate towards an expected one. As you also can spot here at the very beginning, we have a set of arguments that hold our test data. Those are some default test data values that we use right now. But if we go back to our user story, it seems that there are additional acceptance criteria that we should incorporate in our testing. And in order to do so, we should create the right test data that makes sure that those scenarios are tested thoroughly. Which brings us to today's example. We've created a test data generator using UiPath Studio, coded automation, and our OpenAI connector. Here you can see the blueprint. We raise a form at the very beginning, and this form allows the user to provide the path to the test case he or she wants to generate test data for, then we use coded automation to process that information and to formulate a prompt. And this prompt we then send to OpenAI using UiPath's OpenAI connector. And when we receive back the test data result, we will store it in an Excel. Let's have a look at the example. This is the corresponding project. You can see it starts with a test data form. You select the test case, provide the context, and then you create the test data. And it uses the OpenAI connector in order to send the command, the prompt to OpenAI. And it uses multiple coded workflows to process the data. For example, here for create data, we read the content of the test case into a string. Then we generate a prompt. Prompt looks something like this. This is a definition of a test case, which takes certain arguments. Please generate test data for all arguments in a tabular format as CSV string. And we provide the test content, the additional context, and we send the prompt to OpenAI. Let's have a look at it. Give it a quick run. Project is compiling. And in a second, our test data generator form should be up and running. Here we go. So we now can select the test case we want to create test data for. Here we choose the one we just have created previously, which is the apply for loan.cs. Now you can see that's the test case we want to use. And now we can provide additional context in order to make the test data more specific for our scenario. And the easiest way to do so is to simply copy and paste the acceptance criteria we received in our JIRA issue here. We copy that, paste it into the discharge context. If required, we can ad add additional context here as well. We can say, create at least 10 data, data records. Please add the argument city to the list. Make sure that every data record uses a different city, stuff like that. If you're satisfied with the context, we can simply hit create test data. Now the prompt is formulated and we will send it to OpenAI. Let's wait for the confirmation that our data has been created. There we go. Data created successfully. Let's hit OK. And now we can open the test data in Excel. 
And here is our case data generated by OpenAI. It incorporates all the context we provided to it. So it has added the city and uses a different city for each and every data record. And it has values for all our arguments. And it even incorporated um, um, the context in terms of yearly income and age. So that's how easy it is to use OpenAI together with your App Hub Studio and coded automation in order to generate testing data. Thank you.